Hey everybody, hope you're having a good night. I uh, want to just give you the last little recap here of how our trip's been going. Uh, today was a great day too. Um, beautiful weather, oh, gorgeous out. Clear skies, warm, you know, in the 50s. Um, awesome day to be outside. Uh, we went on a dog sled uh, excursion. Um, the CVs. Uh, as a family that uh, races uh, dogs, uh, they, they, the great-grandfather uh, was one of the co-founders of the Iditarod. Uh, so they've been involved in it for generations. Um, really neat to see their kennel, meet the dogs, um, the mushers um, that, that kind of took us on the tour. Um, just, just a great experience. Uh, our tour guide picked us up. Uh, him and his wife uh, had done a lot of dog racing. He did more of the sprints, um, but his wife was a very accomplished uh, sled dog racer. They've retired from that, but um, she works at the at the kennel. Um, it's kind of like uh, in the the main office. He does the tours. Um, super neat guy. Uh, um, Daryl is his name. Uh, not that you guys would probably be able to request him if you ever come out here, uh, but if you could, that would be great. He did a great job. Interesting guy, a lot of good stories, um, a lot of funny, you know, stories of his his racing mishaps, uh, encounters with bears. It, it was very entertaining. He gave us a tour of the whole area through town, gave us a, you know, a historical tour, um, and then just the experience at the, the dog kennel was great. Um, you know, they... they Hooked up the, the team of dogs to a wagon uh, that they made specifically for uh, training them in the off season by pulling people around and took us on, on, a, on a run. Um, it, was, it was a great experience. It was fun. The dogs were excited and just, you know, you could tell they're happy animals. And that really made me feel good that they're very well treated. I know a lot of people you know, kind of have issues um, with that, but... Um, I feel really good about how how these animals are treated and and the and what their their purpose is. Um, they're bred for it. They live for it. Uh, they're athletes. Uh, so if you guys know competitive athletes, you know how excited and, and into uh, that they are. The dogs are the same way. Um, it was just fun, you know, getting pulled around in this wagon on these trails uh, by the dogs, and we got a lot of history of uh, you know the the Iditarod. Um, and just dog sledding in general. Um, it, it was just a fantastic day. We took a drive up to, um, the, uh, exit glacier, um, in the, uh, Kenai Fjords National Park up there. Uh, beautiful area. It, it was a great little hike, um, little short one mile loop out. Um, put a video up of that, some pictures, uh, so check that out. It was it was a good, like I said, beautiful, gorgeous day. Um, we had lunch uh, at a little local place. I had the fish and chips. Um, so, we, you know, I love good fish fry. Um, and then tonight, uh, when we got back, we did a little walk around town, uh, did some souvenir shopping, checked out their local downtown. Kind of reminded me a lot of the Dells, um, that kind of a vibe. Um, but some... Really neat local little mom and pop shops that have been here since, you know, 1906 uh, when these buildings were built and that survived the big uh, 64 uh, earthquake and tsunami that came through the bay. Um, and we had dinner at this place called uh, Chinook. Uh, amazing uh, meal. Uh, I had the salmon with a basil pesto cream sauce. It was probably the best salmon I've had that I can remember. Um, I had a couple of bad experiences uh, when I was down in uh, Chile with the salmon um, and wasn't real happy with, you know, how it was cooked down there. This up here was cooked perfect for my taste. Flavorful, rich, vibrant, uh, you know, salmon. The color was just, oh, it was, I can't stop thinking about it um i had an old-fashioned with dinner too a big surprise right uh but it was good it was a vanilla infused maker's mark 
uh, whiskey that they used. Um, so really good job. Um, I was just really happy with it. We even got some chocolate cake for dessert, and that was really good too. So another great day. I mean, th this vacation's been going just fantastic. Uh, we're heading out tomorrow morning. Um, sounds like the weather's going to be a little wet, 100% chance of rain tomorrow. Uh, and going up over the pass, it might get a little slushy. Um, you never know, but nothing I'm not used to. You know how I am. Uh, heading up to Anchorage, going to stay there tomorrow night, and then uh, heading up to Denali for a couple of days. So stay tuned. Uh, I am expecting some even more amazing videos and adventures to share with you guys in the next few days. So I hope you have a great night. See you soon.